You know I got it, come and get it. Who's your daddy? Who's your friend? Well, hello. We're going to find out who the daddy is with candlesticks. Hi, welcome to the channel. For those of you who haven't been here before and your eardrums are still intact, my name is Langers and I am the Scruffy Trader. What I'm trying to do is kind of put trading in the real world. Maybe show you a trick or two along the way. Sounds good? Click the little subscribe button and we'll crack on. So why was I singing Who's Your Daddy? Well, it's quite apt to something I've been thinking about this week. I had an excellent sort of one-to-one -one meeting with Benjamin at the beginning of the week. I'm talking about various different things. And within the conversation, I want to give a little special salute to somebody I met. I met his young son, Ben Jr. So salute to young Ben, but also a salute to your dad, who is your mentor, somebody you look up to, as I have done with my parents. So where is the relevance with that to the charts? It's very simple. It's family. And in family, you live together, you cry together, you learn together. More importantly, you succeed together. Because that's what family is about. So what I'm going to do is show you a family tree of candlesticks and why the daily candle is the daddy or the mummy, depending on what you're doing. But in this case, it is me and I am the daddy. Okay. So let me try and explain this in scruffy, strange way. So grab yourselves a coffee, because I've got mine, because we all know scruffy likes a coffee. Strap yourself in, but don't worry, I won't be singing anymore. And I'll try and explain it. So come with me. So first of all, within the charts, you have your candlesticks that you look at every single day. Now they're gonna be your one minute chart, your five minute chart, okay? I'm sure you kind of following this. 15 min, one hour, Four hour and your day. With me so far. What on earth has that got to do with family? Diddly squat. But it's going to. Let me explain. You see, I've seen loads of adverts on the front of my videos. And you're selling one system or another. You know, there's the boring fella. And you spare two minutes every day and earn an extra £2,000 a month. <sighs> Good luck with that one. Because one, you need a reasonable amount of capital to get your £2,000 a month. And in order to do that, you need to build your account. Simple stuff. Basic maths. You have the other one. Well, if emotions is the number one reason that you fail, why not trade without emotions? Okay. What do you do that then? With a rules based system. They're all rules based. If they're not rules based, you are gambling. So what's the system? London breakout. And what's that? It's just a range bound break of the candle. Simple stuff, you know. Certainly not worth the money that it's touted. The other one, you know, DAX system, apparently is 63% accurate. 63% is not a winning system. That is just over gambling. It's a little more than a coin toss. So why am I bringing this up? Because in order to be a trader, you need to learn your craft. 
and craft is the word. You cannot become a trader overnight watching the odd YouTube channel. You really can't. You know? And if you think that, I think you're going to be in for a long, hard ride. And it's certainly going to cost you a lot of money in the long run. Think about it this way. If I'm going to have my very expensive car repaired, am I going to let somebody who's watched a couple of YouTube videos loose on the engine of that car? Of course I'm not. I'm going to take it to a Mercedes dealership and I'm going to have a craftsman who knows what a torque wrench is work on the engine of my car. I am not going to have a plank do it. Why? Because one might cost me a lot of money and the other one will cost me a fortune. Now which one do you think is going to be the lot of money and which one do you think is going to be the fortune? No. The craftsman might cost a lot of money in the short term. You know, three, four hundred pounds for a service. You know, it sounds a lot of money. But if I let a lunatic loose on it, who's only looked at a YouTube channel and they screw that engine, now that's going to cost five or six thousand pounds. Big difference. So when you're trading, the principle is the same. You must learn your craft. X does not mark the spot. But I'll show you a few things to get you moving in the right direction so you understand what it is you're looking at. And the first thing that you look at is candlesticks. And candlesticks are the family of the chart. And that is the whole inspiration of this video. So why this lot? Well, it's very simple. What is the one minute chart, really. Well, it's a baby. So if you're having a conversation with a baby, how much sense are you gonna get? Absolutely none. It makes a lot of noise, and there's a lot of <coughs> out the back end, but it doesn't tell you anything. Not a beam. Nothing, right? So why listen to it? No point at all. Then you have the toddler. This is your five minute chart. Runs around the house, causes mayhem, makes lots of noise, can grass you up because it will repeat what it has seen. So the five minutes is just one of those wonders of the world that we all call our bundle of joy, you know, because they are funny. And sometimes they do show things that can bring a smile at your face. But then your toddler becomes a kid. Six, eight, ten year old. You know, still racing around on one thing and another. But whereas with these two, you can't really have a conversation with them. You just have to listen to them. Because whatever you tell them, they're soaking up, but they can't regurgitate it back to you in any kind of coherent conversation. But when your kids come along, they still help the skelter, you know, they race round like there's no tomorrow. But you can have a conversation with them. And every once in a while, they have flashes of brilliance that rings true. Maybe even a little bit of advice to the toddler and the baby. Because they're learning, they're starting to understand what is going on. Then we come to our teen, the one hour. Now teens are, how do we put this? Well, if I look at my kids, I will put them in a cupboard with a gag because they were a nightmare. But they do learn and they're getting better at life. They're getting better with their life skills. They start to understand what's going on. 
then you can have a conversation with them. And they have flashes of brilliance, but are shrouded in moodiness as well, because they still need a little bit of guidance. Now, as they guide through life, they become young adults. It's kind of your four hour. So, got a young adult. You can see a little bit of the world. They can tell you a bit about the world from what they've seen. Because they've had good experiences. And that good experience filters into the team. The team can filter into the kid. And the kid ultimately filters down into the baby and the toddler. But where's it all driven from? Where's all the fountain of knowledge come from? That this family is building up. It's from your parents, your mum and your dad. Or in the word of the song, who's your daddy? And your daddy is the day chart. Because the young kids all the way up to the teens and the young adults look at the old fella and they think he's past it too long in the tooth so the experiences don't count for anything however when things go awry and they're looking for direction because every young adult and every teen and even some kids have all had what's called in this house kitchen floor reset where the whole world has collapsed and they're lying on the kitchen floor crying their eyes out where did my life go how could I make such a mistake and it's your daddy that picks them up shines the light shows them the way because no matter what my kids do I'll always love them and likewise with Winky, you know, they are ours. We are, as parents, guardians. Which means we have to show them the way. And that's what charts are. So that strange analogy, I'm going to put it onto one candle. The daddy. The day chart. And what information can you get from it? A lot more than you think. You see, when we're kids, we don't listen to our parents. We think they don't know anything. You know, what do you know? You're old. Well, what we do know is a lot of information. We've seen things that you haven't. Experienced things that are yet to come. And that's why the day chart is important. Because it's soaked up the information you need to guide your trade. So I'll, I'll show you the makeup of a day, the key points of the day, and then I'll pull it up on a recent chart and I'll show you exactly what I mean from that little story. So let me clean this down. And I'll show you. So, assuming we all know what a candlestick is, but for those of you who don't, its makeup is this. Okay. You have a candle that is going up and a candle that is going down. If it's going up, it's called long. If it's going down, it's called short. Up and down. Very simple. Got to get used to a lot of terminology. And I'm assuming a lot of the people that are watching this are relatively new to trading. So I'll try and keep the terminology as basic as I can. Up, down. Okay. How does it work? Well, if it's going up, you have an open at the bottom and a close at the top of the body. Because that's what this section is. This is the body. And then you have wicks or tails, which is these bits here. And that will tell you the high of the day and 
the law of the death. Okay? Very simple. If it's going the opposite way, you have an open, a clause, but still a law, and a high. Alright? Got that? That is the basic makeup of a candlestick. Now the body can contract, it can be big, it can be at the top of the wick, bottom of the wick, all over the place. Alright? So we'll just get these down and we'll look at just one single candlestick. All right. So we have a candlestick here. All right. What does it actually tell you? How many pieces of information can you get from that one candlestick? We're waiting. Well, it's five. You get five pieces of information from it. We know this is the lower point across the bottom. So that is a good piece of information. And this will bear relevance to the breakout that I was referring to earlier on. We know the high point up there. You have now got a defined range, absolutely defined, from there to there. If the price breaks one of those lines, it's called a breakout. And the London breakout is literally one candle, it's normally the hour candle, it can either be between seven and eight, eight and nine, it's normally the first hour's trading of an open of a session. And what you're looking for is a break of that and a one-to-one -one ratio because you'll put your stop under there and off it goes that way. There's your risk, put the profit target up there, job sorted. All right. So if you look for London Breakout, you'll find loads of videos on it. Uh, and if you want, I'll go right through it. Um, so there's a breakout. But what if the price is contained between those two levels? And this is why a daily is important, because daily is a long length of time. And the price can steer within it, which creates engulfing candles and things like that. Okay. We also have another price here. All right. So you've got another two levels there. So what's significant about those? Price will retest opens and closes all the time, constantly. And I'll show you that on the chart in just a sec. Right. So you've now got four levels. But I said there was five. And the fifth piece of information is actually the pivot or the centre point, mid-ground. Yeah. Alright, and big boy. What's that lot telling me? It's actually telling you a lot. You've got a trading range between that line and that line. You know they're solid, solid levels. It's the highest the price has been, it's the lowest the price has been. Key information. So when the price hits those levels, it's going to react. So you're going to bounce off them and come back or it's going to break out and continue. Okay, You can use the distance between them to give you a risk reward. Because you can put a stop underneath that one. The distance between your stop and the entry is your risk. Multiply that by one and a half, you have a 1.5 risk reward. Simple stuff. All right. But this is the important bit. The midpoint. And why is that? Because it can actually help you with direction. If the price is staying above there, it's telling you the buyers are in control. And the first place 
it's going to test is that so if you see the price come away go down come back here and you enter the market there with one of your kids showing them the way five minute chart for argument's sake it's going to work its way to that point there it doesn't happen all the time but it happens a lot more than 63%. Okay? And likewise, if the price is opening underneath, it's going to visit that. So it's the same thing over and over. Now there's different ways you can help work that out. So let me jump onto the screens and I'll just pull up a relatively recent chart and I'll give you an example, and then you kind of understand what I'm driving at. Okay, what we're looking at here is last week's euro dollar. So it's relevant, we know what it is and where it's going. Now I'm going to show you the daddy, which is the day candle. I'm going to put the bits of information in, and then you can have a look to see how the children react to that information that the daddy is given to them. advice from a parent okay so let's have a look what have we got i'll widen it out so we can kind of see it in its form well over the last three days it, it's ideal because you've got that which is contained by this set of candles and then you've got a break so you'll be able to see both in a relatively short period of time and because it was the last few candles you'll be very easily able to check on your own charts how this works very very simple so we'll start with this candle here which was on wednesday the 17th just a couple of days back this is the daddy all right so how do you mark it up because we're going to do this without any levels or anything all the levels are coming from the information the daily candle is giving right. so the first thing we need is an absolute so we'll put this in a very thick solid line there that is the lowest that that price got to and that is the highest you got to on that daily candle. Now what I'll also do is I'll put a vertical line on. So when I drop this down the charts, you will be able to see it clearly. All right? So we know anything past that, the children are looking at the advice. We now need to know where the open and close was. So you draw the opening but we're going to put this as a dotted line because the opening close for all they are tested regular they break regular as well however the high and the low show the absolute extremes and it takes a lot of pressure to break through so that's why they're solid okay and then we need one line through the middle give us a pivot point from the day before so if I just grab a measuring tool and you measure from the low to the high or vice versa and then put another line in there and I'll just change that to a nice thick and a different color so that we can define it we now have a good arena to work to but not only have we got a good arena we have got valid levels that i know the price will react at so the daddy has now gave the path for the children to learn from <laughs> stick with it stick with it right we're going to assume we're talking to our teenage son 
or daughter. If it was my daughter, that was hard work. Giving her advice was easier nailing custard to that ceiling. <sighs> but still love her all of this. Typical drama queen. Right, what have we got? So the first thing we need to do is define when our working day starts. So we know that was there. So if I pull that through to say seven o'clock in the morning, that's when we start. This is a new day and the lines drawn in are based off the day before. Okay. So happy days. What is it telling us? Well, there are three areas that it will retest regularly. The open, the close, and the midpoint. Which is that, that, and that. Okay. How do we get a bit of direction from this? You can put something on as simple as a moving average. Now, because we're day trading, you want the price to be relatively reactive. And an 8 for intraday is pretty darn good. So what is it telling us? How are we seeing this bit of information? Well, first thing that happens is you look to what is the dominant direction. Straight away, the moving average is telling you that it is down. Okay, cool. So here is our opening candle. All right. What can we do with it? Well, the price is underneath the eight. We are underneath the sort of open or close, depending on how you've drawn this candle. But it is underneath it. So it's now giving you a bias to the downside. What's the first place it's going to try and visit? It's going to be the midpoint. Well, there it is there. And look how many times it reacted at that level. One, two, three, four, five times it stayed at the midpoint. Okay, so that's five hours. Now that could be quite an easy trade you know why is that well, first part of your trade can be right selling off underneath that underneath that order under there first take profit is that second take profit is that third one and a runner is that you're just giving yourself a very simple easy business plan that's made up from the parent levels which is the daily. Where do you put your stop? Well, you put your stop above here. Right? Because it's telling you it's a solid break. So what's the risk reward? Well, you go from there up to there. That's a 30 pip stop. Is this deeper than 30 pips? Well, what do you know? It is. And then some. 45. 46. So that's a good trade. And that's based off just little minimal pieces of information. Okay. And that's if you just want to trade once a day. There is your single trade. What if you want a bit of confirmation? How do you get confirmation out of this? Because that's in a way is flipping a coin. Well, it's very simple. You you use tag points and this one has it here as well so again we know the price is to the downside because it is on the underside of an eight moving average so this is eight hours to alter that moving average because it counts eight candles back all moving averages are lagging and when you're day trading if you're using big long lagging indicators you know, your 200, your 50, etc. They are good, but they are for swing trading. When you're into day trading, you want to be looking at a 20, a 14, an 8. And the number doesn't really matter as long as you're comfortable with it. But once you're comfortable, stick with it. I like an 8 because I want to be in and I want to be out. 
right? Now the tag point on here is this. I'll just highlight that for you. Which is this. Okay, you can see it. Price has gone up, it has tagged the moving average and come away, but it is tagged again here. It's just there on this point here. So now what you're doing is you're looking for some form of reaction for the downside. Now you can do a number of things. You can go right, there's my tag. There's the bottom, it's tagged that. I'll put my price on the underside of the candle, make the price come to you. Always make the price come to you. Don't just jump in. And all right, you have to sit a little bit, it triggered. Might have gone up a little bit, and then whoosh. One TP, two TP. Now that's a simple makeup, and a simple way to read the chart based off a daily candlestick, a lot of information. And then all you've done is you've used a moving average as a barometer. So what's all this got to do with a slice of bread? Now is that the daddy? Well, what it's done is you've taken the levels from the daily, key levels. We know if it breaks this, it has a good chance to run up. Well, there it is there. And you could have levels from the candle before. So that could have another set of levels. And in fact, I'm pretty sure if I draw them in, these will have visited them. So let's have a look. Daily. Widen that out. So I drew it off that candle there. So I know what that is. I know there is a point there. There is a point there. There is another point at the top. Just put the moving uh, measuring tool in. Let's have a look. There. Tell you what, I'll quickly change the colours on these so we can see it from another day. Would have been better if I did it to start with, but hey ho. Can't all be Picasso, can we? Okay. Right. So what I'm looking for is the hourly to have tested those levels. So let's have a look, see what's happened. Well, what do you know? It's respected them there and there broke out where did it stall what do you know one of the levels where did it come back to those levels and this is broken down it's moving up it'll test either that or that so you have made levels from parents parents pass down their information that information is absorbed by the children now it doesn't matter what time frame you work on so you're a young adult for argument's sake look how it reacts at the levels it visits them all the time even if you go down to being a kid you're a child oh well, there it is comes up tags comes underneath down wait for it to tag there's your tag in you go simple but look how many times it look stops at these levels you know these are not by swing points these are just by the day it comes up and it constantly tries to get there and there cross look how many times it's almost to the pit you know cross cross the information you get from a daily is vital and it's often why when i'm talking to people and one thing and another and drawing levels and one thing and another i keep telling you 
expect higher time frame information for small time frame trading. Get your information from the high time frames. Your parents. And you'll be fine. But you try talking to a toddler, you'll get no sense whatsoever. And if you're trying to do it off a baby, good luck with that one. Because I'm pretty certain the only thing that you're going to get is... Human excrement! <laughs> and that's about it, guys. Um, I know I look at the charts in a strange way. And I do. Because I don't conform to the norm. And I certainly don't conform to the way you see a lot of educators. Simply because I've run a business. I still run businesses. I know what profit and loss is. I know how to control emotions. And I know how to read things in the real world. Whereas many don't. But because I'm out of the difference, you know, I don't follow the norm. I get slagged off all the time. And it's just because you don't understand what you're looking at. That's all. You know, Trading is a wonderful thing. I love it. I love it every day. You know, it gives me a good life. I'm not a millionaire and I'm not wealthy. Well, I'm all right. But what I'm driving at is it's a job. And it doesn't matter what job you do. You need to understand it you need to learn it and if i can show a little bit of that in these videos more power to it it's what it's all there for it's there just to inspire you know and if i can inspire one person and they are profitable then my job is done happy days so with all of that guys wish you all well and as always do what you love money will follow. See you all in the next one.